Hey Lux, Jay here with a, your monthly reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm grateful to read for you. So thank you for being here. I am going to hop into your spiritual messages, then we'll hop into your oracle cards and your tarot, okay? Libra, what I'm feeling for you, okay? Spirit is saying, don't be distracted by the things you cannot control. And find an outlet to relieve the stressors that arise and be patient during this process. So whatever it is that you're going through currently, be patient. It's just a process. It's temporary and you're going to overcome whatever it is that you're going through. Okay. I'm also hearing, let them in. I don't know who needs to hear that message, but is there someone that you are closed off to that you either need to let into your life or open up to them on an emotional level? Okay. So that's coming up. And a spirit is also saying you're on the precipice of change. So if things have been feeling dull and stale, a change is occurring. But spirit needs you, okay, Libra, to be patient during this time. All right. Um, you don't need to change a thing, okay, about you. So whoever needed to hear that, you don't need to change a thing. Um, it doesn't mean um, a. It doesn't mean a thing of words don't match actions okay so feeling that i'm feeling the chariot energy of you like moving on taking action and creating success in your life so it doesn't mean a thing if words don't match actions and i feel like that's something that you are either telling someone or this is what spirit is wanting you to know okay that you have to take action on something okay um those of you that have been procrastinating on organizing and getting your end of life documentation in order this is a reminder from Spirit. So Spirit say, is saying it's best to be prepared for anything unexpected. This may also be in regards to you helping someone with their in, their things, their documentation, like their will, their trust, advanced directives, etc. But Spirit doesn't want you to fear this, okay? And I know it may sound morbid, but um, it, if it's taken care of sooner than it needs to be taken care of sooner than later. Okay. So keep that in mind. It's very important during this time. Grounding yourself is extremely important this month. That will help you um, with the stressors that you're enduring because some of you are feeling like you're, you're out of balance in some, some sort of way. So grounding is important. And um, lastly, spirit is wanting you to love on yourself this month. Okay. And I feel like I want to pull a um, self-sacred card for you so that you, you get a reminder to how you can love yourself, love upon yourself during this month. One message for Libra, please. I'm also hearing no matter what, take care of yourself. Spirit is saying you can dance. So dancing this month, some of you may want to dance under the sunlight, dance under the moonlight. But that is a way for you to get grounded, to be in alignment, right? Because there's no way that you can dance and feel angry, right? Dancing makes you feel happy. It puts you, it, it strengthens your vibration. It elevates your frequency, okay? And it aligns you to your truth, okay? You feel free when you dance. So dancing, so getting out. You know, you might want to go to a party, an after party. You want to dance around your house in your underwear. Who cares? Dance, okay, is one of your self-sacred care acts. And that is the way that you can love up on yourself. Obviously, there are many other things that you can do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you are struggling with one, dancing is definitely going to help you during this time, okay? So that is a sacred uh, self-care act for you. Um, your Universal message, actually two cards came out for you, is to forgive. Okay, this is what the universe is saying. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. So just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. Okay, so that's what the universe is saying is for you to forgive. And earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. Okay, so if you've been feeling that, Know that good things are on the way. Never regret love, no matter how blind it improved your vision, no matter how foolish it made you wiser, and no matter how generous it made you, it made you what? <laughs> it made you more, okay? It made you more. It made you more of who you are, okay? So forgiving, 
um, and those two those two cards are very important. If you are seeing, um, let's see this here. Remember the dance, okay? If you're seeing the number twenty one twelve, this is confirmation for you, validation from your angels that it's up to you, okay? It's up to you. Someone is definitely watching over you. That is your reminder from this number here. Good fortune is also on the way. Remember, we just talked about that as well. So it's very important for you to be in alignment. So dancing, finding some sort of happy habit that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that's going to elevate your frequency, as I've said. Um, there are unforeseen forces that are working behind the scenes, okay? So keep that in mind when you're seeing 2112, and this is also creating direction for you. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction. So keep that in mind, Libra. And if you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon, very soon, okay? So it's up to you, and it's, Spirit is saying it's up to you because you are the one that can change your vibration because it's not just about the words that you speak. This is a whole, I mean, it's a whole diagram of things that, you know, a, that helped you manifest. And the most important thing is the emotion, okay? The emotion is what um, creates the vibration and brings that energy back to you, okay? We have the engagement card coming up. So I'm not sure if an engagement is coming up for some of you, but your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you are dating. Some of you are wanting to get married. Some of you don't care to be in a relationship, but this is only, this is only speaking to those of you who are in a serious relationship right now and you are wanting to take the next step. There can be an engagement that is around the corner um, for you. And it, it, I'm looking at this too, and what's standing out is the documents. So it makes me feel like I said earlier in your spirit insights is that getting your end of life uh, documentation put to, you know, together okay and this makes me feel like some like documents you're going to be signing at some point very soon okay interesting enough to the next card is romance angels are helping you okay so if some of you are struggling in the love department this is an opportunity for you to level up okay in the department of love but first off it starts with you Libra and it starts with you elevating your spirit okay and know that a new start is coming for you new moon we just had a new moon in Taurus on May 7th so I hope that you set some intentions some clear intentions about where you want to focus your energy towards during these next two weeks up into the full moon so that you can be in this manifestation phase but the new moon um, in Taurus like I said May 7th is creating a new start for you okay so and this could be the next new moon for some of you who knows um, remember time is fluid so this is not going to resonate with everyone here so a new start is definitely on the horizon for you so let's get your tarot cards out messages for Libra please the most highest messages of clarity and truth even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm in this moment this is for the highest good of Libra and all of those that are involved. All right, Libra. So we have the Seven of Wands. The King of Wands reversed. The Knight of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Strength reversed. The Eight of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So we're starting with the Seven of Wands, but we end with the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. So that definitely is progress. Okay. For, from, for some of you, you have been battling situations when it comes to your money or your job. Okay. I do feel like it's going to end in your favor because right now it, it feels like there's there's this energy of like not being able to create what you want, but things are manifesting. And it really does boil down. Libra is what Spirit is saying. It really does boil down to your vibration, okay? The emotion that you're emitting emitting into the universe is going to be reverberated, okay? So the Seven of Wands is here. Um, so definitely feels like some of you have been in this place where um, or you may feel like you're in, a, in an opposition with something, opposition with a person or with a decision about a job or your money in some sort of way. 
but make sure that you're not forcing things. But I do feel like there's an energy of you continuing to fight through something and stand your ground because you're trying to create a favorable position, favorable position for yourself. And that's that's a beautiful thing. You keep fighting for what you know is yours, but also don't force things to happen, okay? If some of you keep pushing up against something that's just not meant for you, the universe is trying to give you signs that it's not meant for you, okay? So this is an opportunity to forgive yourself as well. But things are definitely changing for you um, here, Libra, okay? I do feel like this energy of you moving past situations, obstacles as well. Some of you might hit a roadblock where you feel like I'm a little stuck and I need to sort of retreat a little bit and take a little time to myself. So some of you might need a break from something or someone. Maybe you're needing to learn more. Maybe you need, you're just needing a little bit more clarity around what's happening for you. But I definitely feel um, some of you could be, you know, make sure that you're not taking for granted. I'm feeling like a naive energy. So make sure this is why, this is why I feel like that the a break may be good for some of you at some point and for some reason or just stepping back and really learning more about yourself before you're jumping into something else and creating a new pattern of something that you really don't want in your life. So I definitely feel like some of you are going to decide to just, you know, leave behind the things that don't feel right in your spirit anymore, whether it's because you are disappointed or you, there's just a change and there's just a gradual change in situations. Um, and some of you may, you know, be in this place where you may have felt like it is just time for you to move on to something that really doesn't serve you. And I definitely feel like on the other side of that is happiness and success. Okay, so let's jump into um, this overall energy. The seven of wands is here for you showing up in your overall energy. This is the energy of defensiveness. So some of you are having to battle. You're going back and forth. So I'm also hearing, you know, character deformation for some of you, which makes me feel like a very intense energy that you could be going back and forth with someone about something. Not sure what that looks like for you, but it could definitely be, you know, there's something here. Um, we have Leo energy here. This is Mars energy. So that Mars energy, for sure, some of you could be facing some sort of um, a level of anger, even a level of hatred that could be coming up for some of you. This is what I'm feeling like, you you know, fighting and enforcing things or um, you needed to stand your ground because you're definitely going back and forth. But this is a defensive energy that's coming up. I'm going to clarify this seven of wands, see why this is coming up for you. Okay, so we have the Death card and the Will of Fortune. Wow, two major arcana. So definitely something is coming to an end. You're moving on from something so that your life changes. Okay, some of you are just tired of battling something, someone, and you're deciding, I'm, I'm going to just walk away from it and make a change in my life. I'm also feeling some of you are going to be moving somewhere else because I feel like you just want a different energy overall. So some of you may actually be taking the action and some of you are just thinking about this is what you want to do and where you want to go. So some of you could be in this planning stage where you're strategic, strategically trying to plan what your next move is going to be. But at the end of the day, something is definitely about to change. We've already pulled, remember we pulled this card, a new start is coming. Okay, so this could be happening, happening rather rapidly for some of you because I just said we are coming out of that May 7th new moon. Um, energy will have another one in uh, about four weeks. So there, this could be a process between now and sometime in June. Some of you may be making a decision to leave something behind because there is just this grand transformation where you're just letting go of things. Um, and I'm also feeling like things have been moving slow for you and you're just kind of like, I'm, I'm ready to sort of pick up the pace. Things feel stale and stagnant and it's time to really move out of this energy as well. Um, someone 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 has revealed someone has revealed themselves um, to you in some sort of way the death card is connected to the scorpionic energy um so you're not sure if you're dealing with a um not sure if you're some of you are dealing with a scorpio here um and even the will of fortune the will of fortune is uh, connected to i believe it's it's it might be jupiter energy yeah jupiter energy um, and 
so I feel like there's a change. Like there, there's just a sudden change in something. Okay, moving, moving into something new for you because some of you are seeing your life in another, moving in another direction. Your things that resonated with you before no longer resonate with you because you, you know, you're just leaving that behind. There definitely feels like a change, and some of you are just tired of just being. Some of you are tired of being in the rat race, and some of you are tired of being in something that's just again stale and just doesn't serve you and it again it's very forced okay so i don't know why it's forced for you here but it definitely is forced in some sort of way here libra um and i and i feel like it's because the number seven is here with the seven of wands it's like it's a personal challenge for you and some of you are holding on to something that you may not be talking to someone about this may be like deep down rooted issues or just secrets that you have that you don't want to share because you don't want to hurt anyone. But I definitely feel like whatever is hidden, I feel like it comes to light at some point because you be, you walk away from whatever this is for you. Okay, so an obstacle or challenge that may come up for you during this time, we have the King of Wands that's coming out for you in reversed. Okay, so this King of Wands energy. Um, I'm looking at, you know, this is the King of Wands is someone who is also very opinionated as well. Okay. Um, Libra, Libra, you can possess that energy as well. And it's not, it's not a negative trait at all. It's just, you know, you're an air sign and you like balance. So you're always going to have something to say about what you feel makes sense. What is logical to you? Okay. So I'm feeling that energy from this King of Wands. So for some of you, it this energy may come off as selfish to someone else, or this is someone being selfish towards you, this King of Wands, where um, it it feels like it could be um, patronizing, and then I feel like things may be unclear between you and someone here. Very interesting, very interesting energy, because I'm, you know, it's like a, a water, a watery energy. It's like a it's a very emotional energy, okay, that, that's coming up for, for some of you. So it's like, um, what was I going to say? Um, I don't know. Some of you, anyway, some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, could even be dealing with a Scorpio here, like I said, because we did pull the, the death card, but this is Scorpionic Sagittarius energy. But that King of Wands is, is definitely... Um, What's the word that I'm looking for? It's not aggressive. I, I do feel assertive in some sort of way. And, and I don't know, maybe someone is asserting their self in a way that you don't like. Or maybe it's out of the norm. I'm going to pull some cards around the King of Wands. We have the King of Swords and the Empress that is coming up for you. So this King of Swords, I'm feeling this energy is like someone not sharing with you. I feel like you are open in the situation and someone is sort of being a little bit of, they're being, uh, they're being closed off in some sort of way, which is, is very interesting because you, I feel like you want to communicate, but there's some sort of roadblock here. And this is why the Seven of Wands showed up is like, there's something that's forced in some sort of way. Like you're trying to, what, you're trying to make someone say something that you want to hear or they're saying things that you don't want to hear like it, it it goes back and forth here and then the empress energy which is uh taurus and your energy here okay so definitely feels like um your energy i'm also feeling can be overpowering someone else too so i it feels like there's a back and forth and you may not be on the same page with someone or may not be on the same page with the boss or um, maybe your money isn't where you want it to be, but it definitely feels like there is some sort of change, disconnect, something that um, it's, it's like it's like it doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense in some sort of way. So it makes me feel like you're trying to figure something out during this during this time. And it may be an obstacle again for some of you um, because maybe you just cannot figure out what the heck is happening what the heck is going on here okay where you're headed um during this month is the knight of pentacles and i like that energy because i'm feeling like a, a swift change but it feels like things are happening in and a natural progression you're moving forward slowly but i feel like you're going to be taking 
because remember I said earlier, like some of you are taking a break, take, taking some time away. I'm, I feel like you're very cautious about your steps and the next move that you're going to be making, okay? You're going to be in this place where you're like, I want to be responsible for the things that are unfolding. I want to be in a position of this, of knowing like, hey, we're on the same page. We're doing this thing together, not just jumping all in to something, okay? You want to trust. You want to be able to trust the process, okay? So I feel like some of you are moving going to be moving in a very methodical way um, to achieve whatever this is that you're, you know, whatever your end goal is, whether that is financial stability, whether that is independence in some way, or, you know, being single, whatever, you have an end goal, and that end goal, that nine of pentacles here, for sure, okay, so I do feel like there's, you're very resourceful and hardworking, and I do feel like there is going to be a level of financial stability in some way, okay? But let me pull some clarifiers around that to see where this energy is, is really going. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? We have the Seven of Cups coming up, Scorpio energy, and the Nine, the nine of Cups as well. All right, interesting. So we go from the Seven to the Nine, which is great, okay? So... I definitely feel for some of you, again, like I said, this is related to money, but a lot of you, this is relate, it relates to a relationship, okay? And I feel like there's a lot of things on your plate, a lot of things going on in your mind. You have a lot of emotions that is going on as well. And I feel like some of you may even be taking your time, stepping into a relationship with someone. Some of you are just happy being single, and some of you want to keep it that way. And some of you, again, are just being very methodical and in, in sort of taking your time in something. And some of you are in a new relationship. Some of you are in a relationship you've been in for a little bit, and you're waiting for that engagement, that proposal. But it feels like there are some things that you have to work through in order to get to that level of comfort and success and prosperity and abundance, okay? So it definitely feels like just take your time going through whatever this is, okay? Because there's a lot of thoughts that are going on. There's a lot of um, things that you have to work out in your physical world, in your environment, with your money, with your career, whatever this is for sure. So um, definitely a lot of, um, what is it, um, Aries energy here. So, th you know, that definitely makes me feel like you know, you could be on this go, go, go mode, okay, but are you, but it, I definitely feel like a lot of ideas that are coming up for you as well, because Aries is a, it's an energy of like lots of ideas, very spontaneous, let's go for it, but I do feel like that analytical side kicks in for you, and you are sort of taking your time, making the, taking the next step in whatever this is, okay, because you want to have happiness, Nine of Pentacles energy here, you want to be fulfilled in whatever steps that you're taking to get to wherever you want to be, and you want to be content with that, okay, but again, I, I feel like there's, there's, there's so much that is, that's going on here, okay, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's happiness that's on the horizon for you, remember, we said a new start is coming for you, What's coming towards you is um, the the hermit, okay? So this is why I feel like some of you may, um, what's coming towards you is like this idea of just taking a break from things, taking a break from people, just to go into this moment of introspection and contemplate, contemplate your next step, okay? So some of you are really sort of um, taking this step to just sort of see things uh, the way that they are. I'm kind of look, I'm, I'm looking at this and how the hermit has uh, is looking on you know, the three cards we've already talked about, we already talked about um, that you're really taking into consideration people in your decision making process, um, people, places, things, whatever, your things that you've been through, whatever it is, you're taking in into that into consideration before you really make your next move. This is why I feel the Knight of Pentacles is moving in a very methodical way. So you may be in this energy where there may be something that comes towards you that makes you pause and you're not sure, am I doing the right thing? Okay. I definitely feel like you're on the right track, especially for those of you that are tuning in, tapping into yourself and really getting in alignment and grounding yourself and um, being in the place of trusting your own instincts here. Okay. So the number nine sort of represents a completion of something. So I definitely feel like whatever this is that you have been contemplating and moving towards you have been, um, you're, you're on your way to a, a, a new outcome here, okay? You're integrating everything that you learned, 
to move forward in this. Okay, so this is going to be an end of a cycle for some of you because you're going to be receiving guidance and maybe even mentorships from your spirit guides, angels, or even a facilitator in some sort of way. Um, but I definitely feel like you are not moving in a very traditional way. Okay, you're you're doing things on your own terms. Okay, you're making moves however you want to make. Uh, however you want to make them. This is what makes me feel like it's a it's, it's like an unorthodox relationship or an unorthodox thought or feeling or emotion. I, I just feel like you're just like, nah, that's I'm going to do me. Okay, that's what it feels like. I'm doing me. Why is the hermit here? We have the nine of pentacles coming out. We also have that in your final outcome position. So what else, what else is here for uh, the, her the hermit? I'll take this page of swords since it was on top. So Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, clarifying that hermit energy. So some of you are thinking about being on the solo road is what I'm hearing. Okay, you have a lot of thoughts on like, hmm, if I go this route, that will make me happy. If I leave this person behind, that will make me happy. Like I just feel like there's a lot of things that you're thinking about and contemplating. And you're really focused on your own growth, your spiritual growth, your financial growth. That's most important for you is abundance during this time. Okay, I do feel like you're very curious about um, something. You're very curious about where your life is headed and who's going to be a part of it and who's not going to be a part of it. So I feel like that energy is definitely coming towards you of a lot of thinking about what is next. Okay, and I'm hearing from spirit to make sure that you are in a place of envisioning what you want your life to be using inspired action so that um, you can create that vibration so that you can bring that into your life, okay? So what's happening in your near future? We have the strength card is coming out for you reversed, okay, in your near future. Some of you, um, some of you have to, I'm hearing, really put your foot down. This is what I'm feeling. You have to set clear boundaries because this makes me feel like the strength card like you can be taken advantage of because you can be too kind sometimes. Some of you can even be really brute as well and people don't want to really be around you. Um, but don't use don't use force in anything. But make sure you're setting your clear boundaries, okay? And don't ignore your inner strength, okay? Don't ignore that power that's coming up. Um, don't use that strength or that power in the wrong way to minimize or diminish people, okay? So you want don't and don't let yourself um, Make sure you don't, you're not letting yourself shrink, shrink down, okay, and shrink back into old ways and, and shrink back to, go back to people who didn't do you, didn't do you well, okay, in, in the past, okay, don't let yourself be in a position where you're feeling passive, okay, or being passive aggressive in some sort of way. Why is the strength in reverse here? We have the Eight of Cups. That's interesting. And I'm going to take this Eight of Wands. Oh, look at the World card is here and the Three of um, and the three of Wands. But we, funny because your advice is also the Eight of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups and then the Eight of Wands. So a lot of Eight energy. Eight is definitely about manifestation and wealth and balance and finding peace. All of those beautiful things. So really focusing on letting go of things that no longer serve you. Some of you are even thinking about non-traditional ways of meeting people or non-traditional ways of living. I'm also feeling like some of you may be walking into um, new parts of your life where you maybe you decide to go trek across the world, like something different. I feel like a new energy that is coming up for some of you that you may decide like, hey, I haven't had the opportunity to do this and I've always wanted to do this because I've always cared about what people said or what they thought or um, what I should have been doing or I had too many responsibilities and I couldn't do the things that I wanted to. So it makes me feel like some of you may decide to take adventures here, okay? Leaving behind that old stuff, okay? Because it feels like a lot of this energy that you that you may be feeling or the people that you may be interacting with, it feels like it's old and so you're moving into something new because you're growing, okay? The Eight of Wands is about you growing. And I love that energy because it feels like you're really doing the work and tapping in to your consciousness and tapping into your infinite self 
and understanding that the way that you've been living may have been in conformity in some sort of way and that's not who you are at your core so I do feel like you're going to be living a different life you're going to also be meeting new people as well remember I said the world was on top something three of wands you've been waiting for something but that world energy was the card that I really wanted to you know pull out because this means that there's going to be an end to something okay this is a transition for you a beautiful transition of you opening up to something new so I feel like you're going to be creating a different life for yourself and walking away from the things that no longer serve you um, and that's a, that's a beautiful energy that I'm feeling for you here Libra your advice is the eight of cups again leaving behind things leaving behind disappointment okay letting change be be the new venture the new adventure okay because some of you may have felt um, abandoned by people you may have been detached or you you've grown detached from people here some of your relationships that no longer work for you and I feel like again because the eight of cups here remember it, I just said some of you are going on an adventure of soul searching and some of you are physically going to a new environment so I feel like you're seeking higher wisdom and meaning to life and this is also this is just very important for you on this part of your journey and spirit is wanting you to go and seek higher meaning and wisdom for your life the number eight is connected to stability prosperity justice power strength okay why is the eight of cups here for libra we have the judgment yeah that's definitely um it's putting me back in this energy of some of you are walk are definitely walking away from old energies king of pentacles here um capricorn energy so you're definitely walking away from scorpio uh, capricorn energy and i'm feeling this energy of forgive okay you're needing to forgive mostly yourself and then forgiving situations that you've been in because you're moving past that and some of you may have been holding on to something that felt very uncomfortable or just multiple things that made you feel uncomfortable it's definitely time to move past that because on the other side of that is going to be a life that you're rebuilding something that you're going to be, be like you're going to be focused on a different aspect of your life focused on your career or focused on your money some of you are going to be focused on building a family that's going to show up differently but it feels like some things from the past that you have to let go of okay because there are these there's some like relationships there's some emotions there's fears that came up for you that you just some of you pushed down subconsciously and didn't know what to do with it and I feel like some of you may be facing that head on now and moving past that so spirit is saying um, feel feel the fear and do it and move past it and go on a, your journey to um, exploring who you are and whatever that looks like and wherever that takes you your final outcome is the night of the nine of Pentacles okay nine of Pentacles which is all about success per prosperity material comfort enjoying the fruits of your labor be feeling a sense of confidence being self-disciplined this is a sense of independence could also be good news that could be coming in but I just feel like you are feeling uh, you're going to be feeling a sense of um, whole and completeness here okay Virgo energy here earth energy for sure grounding again is very important why is the nine of Pentacles here so the devil, um, the devil, I'm going to take that reversed and I'm going to take the queen of swords here. All right, Libra. So um, I definitely feel like you guys are going to be untethering yourself from what was causing pain, whether that was addiction, something that had been keep, keeping you binded, mind control, fear, whatever this is, self-sabotage, you're leaving that behind and you're like how it goes from dark to light okay and I feel like this Queen of Swords is turning her back on that temptation that got you nowhere okay and some of you were tempted by a relationship because maybe there was a, a very strong sexual chemistry there but there was some toxicity there but there was still a lot of love there was a lot of back and forth but I feel like you're going to be turning your back to that here Libra this is your energy with the Queen of Swords where you're going to be opening up and welcoming new energy to come into your life new people to come into your life because now you're going to be seeing clearer okay because you see how these clouds are parting 
things things seemed a little foggy because you were in a certain energy and you weren't understanding your self-worth. But as soon as you gave yourself the opportunity to forgive yourself and to forgive others, that things things began to open up for you. Okay, so things are going to be opening up for you and things are going to be changing for you as you're moving forward. Okay, one more card for you. Look at that, the magician. So you're leaving behind all of this. That's a this is a this is a huge change. Okay, to let all of this go. And to walk into your happiness, your peace, creating infinite abundance in your life, knowing that you have all the tools that you need. Some of you are not are going to be in a position where you're not looking, you're not looking to other people to make you happy or to validate you in any sort of way. Okay, so things are going to be changing for you, Libra. And that is your reading. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It was a pleasure reading for you. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're reminded of when I post another reading for you guys. Be sure to like this video, comment below if this resonates with you, and share with your family and friends. Enjoy the rest of the month. Many blessings to you guys. Peace.